Hello there, I am KX90, welcome back to the Airbit 3D print series. This is how my version of the Airbit frame looks like and on top of that I made two prototypes for the propeller protectors. This one is still something I'm working on but it looks good and it will work fine when it's done. And this is the protector I've completed and a file for it will be uploaded very soon and when that happens I will post a link in the description for this video. The idea is that all you have to do to attach the propeller protectors is to remove the propeller, squeeze the protector in place, adjust the angle, attach the propeller and there you go. I'm just gonna fast forward now, but in theory you can build whatever kind of a protector you want just as long as it's not too heavy. It has to be strong enough to withstand some pressure and it shouldn't be any sharp edges on the protector. In the future I will make a video about how to make your own protectors. But in the meantime, if you do have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below when I will try to respond as fast as possible. I might create a tool that allows you to fasten the protector in an easier way onto the frame. And there you go, this is how my version of the Airbit looks like with the protectors in place. You can create different kinds of landing legs, how they look and how you can fasten them, and this is the platform you can mount onto the frame with a small rope below the Airbit to carry small objects for fun or a competition. Now, to turn my remote controller on, I have to connect the cable to the microbit and it will turn itself on. To power up my Airbit, I have to connect the battery to the Airbit card and then turn my Airbit on. Since I already done the coding part, I will not show you how to do that, but if you don't know how to do the coding, please have a look at one of my previous videos and I will explain it for you there. To start the Airbit, press A and B at the same time, press B for more throttle and A for less. To steer the Airbit, tilt the remote controller to the side you want it to go. To stop the Airbit, press A and B at the same time or activate the panic function by shaking the remote and it will turn itself off. Remember to disconnect the remote controller and the battery from the Airbit, this is very important otherwise the battery may be damaged. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will hopefully create many more 3D print videos. Thanks for watching, I am KX90, see you later.